Welcome to our superhero workshop number four. I hope you're keeping up. I've been seeing some of your drawings, looks fantastic. What do you think of my standing mushroom? Marvellous mushroom. Well, I've drawn it at a funny angle. It's a little bit of um, an illusion. There's an optical illusion. He's actually a bit longer than he thinks. Depends which angle you look. I'll, I'll show you how to draw one of these in another workshop. You have to draw it looking through your phone, which is quite a lot of fun. Anyway, arch enemies time. The arch enemies to our superheroes. My imagination has been going very, uh, very strange. I hope yours has too. Uh, we've got the Duchess of Doom, arch rival for, I don't know who yet, I've got to make up my mind. We've done the feminine eyes, like we did in an earlier workshop. Um, the tadpole is basically a fish, isn't it? Without the fins. Um, it's got a little uh, tail at the back. This, I just thought, if you say that, it sounds like what you're looking at, but without the full word. I don't know, my imagination is going a bit stupid, so just work with me on this. I've got the very evil looking Dr. Chili, hot stuff. You can tell he'd, um, he'd do a lot of damage, this guy. He's, he's not to be messed with. I've done the wiggly lines. Have a go at drawing him if you like. It's quite, quite fun to draw. We've got Mr. Pit Spray. He's probably uh, got some, all the curves that we're using, same again, a cloud. That could be a cloud of, uh, what no, I don't know, laughing gas. Stink bomb, I don't know, could be anything. He's not a, not a nice character, he's going to do some evil characters really. And he's got a patch over one eye, that's Mr. Pit Spray. We've got Gruesome Grinder. I'm just looking around for anything I can find around the house, because we're in lockdown, it's a lockdown workout. Now, this is... This is my hedgehog. Now, he's spiky, so I call him Spike. Uh, and that's just a made up word. I just made it up. Spike Mantiloop. I told you it was going to be silly. So, why don't you make up some words? We've got Buzzy Babe. That's an evil fly. She is absolute pure evil, this fly. And, uh, yeah. We've got the lips like we drew on the, uh, on the feminine character as well. So have a go at drawing these if you like. Um, we've got an alien. The first thing when the alien landed, the first thing it came across was a chicken. He's kind of bonded with that chicken. And he goes everywhere together. I don't, I've not thought of a name. You can think of a name if you want to draw it. So have a think about that as well. And don't forget, if you come up with something original and crazy, you sign it. So what I've done, I've cut them all up. I've cut them all up and I've got Dynamite Dog versus Duchess of Doom or he could be versus Dr. Chili. They could be using their superpowers. There's always there's always somebody. I mean, it doesn't have to make any sense. I mean, Spider-Man's got the Green Goblin. Where did they get that from? And Batman, his arch enemy, is a guy that tells jokes. I mean, I don't understand why that would sort of uh, affect a bat telling it a joke. So... Let your imagination go mad. They obviously did when they were creating those characters. And you can as well. Anything goes when you're drawing cartoons. So just have a play. Look at all these combinations. You could do this. See which is the best combination. You can write a story and you can illustrate it now as well. There. Okay, so we're going to draw something now. Something evil. So work with me on this. Pause if you, if you get a little bit uh, behind which is completely understandable, so I'm doing a bit of a U-shape there. can be at any angle you want. So, these are like the arms of this creature, whatever it's going to be. Sonny and Fred, follow this. You're an excellent cartoonist, naturals. That's like an M-shape. So, they're all shapes that we used to draw in when we write. This is a big old U-shape. That's like the tummy. I mean, it could be anything. You could make a face out of that really easily, but this is something pretty evil. So those are the arms of this evil creature. At this stage, it could be a hippo or anything. It could be a face of a hippo. You could turn this into anything, as long as you've got those shapes. There's a little N on the top of there. That's actually a thumb. And if you can follow that shape, we've done that one before, 
and that's like a back to front C or nearly a circle just joining that on. Ellie, I've been watching your cartoons, looking at your cartoons. Excellent, you can do this, you can do a C, I know you can. Alfie as well. Yeah, I'm looking at all your work. So close to what I'm drawing. Really, really good. You can see you're really trying hard. Now these are kind of feet or legs. Little legs, it's sat down. And again, it's on the ground, so we do that line. We do the line, that's a little bit of a shadow as well. So it's sat flat on the ground. If you want to put, um, it could be hovering if you put uh, a line just below that. That's completely up to you. So those are the feet. That's an easy way of drawing the toes on the feet. So if you have any ideas what this is yet. A letter U, again, with a little curve on it. Lexi and Jess, I know you'll be doing a great job on this. We've got an O on the paw. I hope you're getting an idea of what it is yet. And little circles, and those are like the fingers. Are the little pads on the fingers perfect I wonder if you look anything like this with your cartoons now the head of the creature is is off it's not been chopped off this is all part of the 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 uh, pure wickedness of this character so you've got like a, a shallow N shape a little curve and attached on the end do these as big or as small as you like. You don't have to do them little, little like I've done. You can do them quite big if you like. It's up to you. These are quite. A, these are the ears, of course. The C and the C, as I'm sure I've bored, bored you with loads of times. But you can do them bigger if you like. We're carrying on the shape of the face, coming round. Okay. And I'm putting some little tufts on the top for the hair. So it's looking quite gruesome, I suppose, but it isn't. It's just evil. This is an evil little shiny nose. Mean little nose for sniffing out trouble. Okay, and again, another U-shape. These are, these are loads of U-shapes, really. All, again, shapes we, that we know, that we're used to making these shapes. Now, this, this is like the, the, the muzzle or the the nose of the creature and that's the mouth like an upside down Y shape and then another U shape curve for the eyebrows looking really furiously angry it would be it's after one of your superheroes whichever superhero it may be it's after it whichever whichever one you're gonna match it with so it's got mean little eyes just dots that's all it is mean little dots because it's so furious, this creature. So I'm going to join. I'm going to join it to here. Now, like we've done a collar in the past, we're going to finish off that neck in a minute. But this is a spring, because this is a robotic bear, just programmed for pure evil. Okay. I'm just going to thicken that spring up a little bit. He's he's boinging. His head is boinging off in absolute fury. Okay, so add the top of that neck and we're going to shade that in in a minute. Now you've got some sparks flying, some stars, because he's mal malfunctioning. He's gone nuts. So you do that like a one triangle, two triangle, three, four, and five. That's how you do a star. But all your cartoons, we featured them on Facebook. They look brilliant. Brilliant. We've put them together on a little film to uh, just say thanks for joining in and really, really proud of what, you, what you're coming up with and how, how accurate they are. So how, how close they are to the way I draw. And I know you'll create your own styles from that as well. So I've made the eyebrows thicker on this robotic bear. You got to think of a name of it if you're going to draw it. You got to think of a name. Let's get your imagination going. It can be anything you want it to be. So I'm just thickening up these lines here and there. You can colour it any colour you want. I'm going to add a bit of shading. What I can't resist here, the most important thing for me, is making that look as though it's a hole 
in the top of the body that the spring's going into. For me, that's like, if I hadn't done that, it would have driven me mad. So that's my first job. Then I'll do these little pads. You can use all the different colors. You've been using some great colors on the fish and the all the different creatures. You know, I've had rainbow fish. It's been brilliant seeing you use all your different colors. And I will get my, my colored pencils out, but I'm just working in this in case you haven't got any colored pencils. You'll notice on all my cartoons, we're just using the absolute basics. We don't need anything expensive. We just need a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper to learn great cartoons. Once you can draw with these, you can draw with anything. So I'm just making that line a bit thicker now. Mine's sat on the ground. So think of a great name and put some comments on if you've enjoyed drawing it and what you'd like to be drawing as usual. I'd like to, I, lo I love your input. I love seeing what you think of these cartoon workshops and see what you can, what you can learn from it. So don't forget to sign. My bear is your bear. Don't forget, we're all working together on this and I'm enjoying it just as much as you. So all those shapes, the rounds, the seas and everything, let's see what you come up with. Can't wait to see what you come up with. I really can't. And I'll see you tomorrow. Look how hard I've been working. Come on, keep up. And tomorrow we'll be having some battles with, uh, with our characters. I'll show you some movement in the bodies or the arms and the legs and we can have them sort of uh, confronting each other. So I'll look forward to that. And that's where it started with the carrot. Super carrot. But not as super as check this out look at that from the cartoon wagon straight to your home even better than mine come on see you tomorrow